Good evening and welcome to Sensual Talk, School of Sensuality Edition. I'm your host and this evening's instructor, Emanuela Fernandez. Here's the big question. Do you need to reconnect with your sensual sparkle? If yes, you've come to the right place. Tonight, we will talk about how you can rediscover your appetite for life and we will officially launch a brand new service provided by Daily Sensuality Brand. I want to thank you all for joining me right here in my home office. It's fantastic to have you all with me. I want to thank Dronish Media for sponsoring this evening's presentation and uh, I know that Tonight's show is going to resonate with so many people. So many of us get disconnected from our sensual sparkle. And let's be honest, we all want to be that woman or that man who walks into the room and captures everyone's attention. And people want to be around that person. And the truth is, it's fun to be that person. So really, who wouldn't want to be that sensual sparkle oozing person? person. So today we're going to be talking about that. We also will be launching a brand new service that will help us get in touch tat a tat or eye to eye. I am very, very excited, but you will have to wait for this till the end of the presentation. So without further ado, I think we should dive into tonight's lecture and talk about how to reconnect with your inner sensual sparkle. So first of all, what is the sensual sparkle, right? That's the million dollar question. And you know, who has that sensual sparkle? And the truth is, everyone can have that sensual sparkle. Everyone can learn how to ooze that joie de vivre and happiness and joy for life. So tonight, let's talk about that. And I think that before we really go into, into talking about how to rediscover it, we have to figure out how we get disconnected from our sensual sparkle. And the truth is, it happens to all of us. It can happen because of identity crisis. And I mean, we all once in a while, and some psychologists even argue, say that every seven, to f seven or four years, we go through identity crisis where we feel like we can't really recognize ourselves, where we feel like we're losing ourselves. So it could be that, and it could be childbirth or completely the opposite, becoming an empty nester. That can also, you know, cause you to lose that sensual sparkle, um, you know, loss of a loved one, infidelity, or, you know, it can be something as simple as inability to balance work and play. That can also cause you to start feeling like you just can't really feel that sensual sparkle inside of you anymore. And the truth is, there are symptoms that, um, you know, that come together with this, with this, um, you know, very common condition that, that so many of us, uh, struggle with. And, uh, you know, a couple of symptoms that will kind of help you identify the fact that you probably are disconnected from your sensual sparkle is the fact that you just don't feel that same appetite for life anymore. Or you don't feel like you're really enjoying the same things that you used to enjoy before. That is possible and very common as well. Or maybe you're feeling tired and lifeless. And that's something that is extremely, extremely common. Or you can't really remember what used to get you going. And you know you can't really remember what used to make you really passionate in life. And those are all the symptoms of the fact that, you know what, maybe you are disconnected from your little sensual sparkle that get th gets things really going. And I want to clarify that sensual sparkle does not always mean your libido. It really can mean just simply your overall satisfaction with life, which is so incredibly important. So we're going to start to figure out how to get reconnected with your true pleasure, with your true passion, and with your inner sparkle. So let's talk about that. Um, so how do you reconnect with your inner sparkle? And one of the things that I tell people to do and I recommend for people to do is I say, you know, you really have to find time to be curious about who you are, about your likes and dislikes, about the things that really make you happy or maybe don't make you happy. You know, maybe you need to kind of figure out, you know, is this still turn? Is this something that still turns me on? Is this something that still kind of stimulates me? Or is that something that used to stimulate me before? Because the truth is, 
we constantly evolve, we constantly change, and we are never the same. And, and, and the truth is, I mean, who you were before is certainly not who you are today. You know, maybe maybe yesterday you were you liked different things, and today they're gonna kind of repulse you, and, and you're gonna get completely different reaction. It's because the circumstances change and everything changes, so you really have to figure out you know, what is it that you like, what turns you on and what stimulates you. So find time to be curious with who you are and with what makes you happy and what brings you pleasure. Um, this one is actually very important. I'll take a quick sip of, of water. I am a professor after all, and I kind of understand why they constantly sip on water because they talk so much. <laughs> that's That's been always my problem. I talk too much. But either way, so today, that's my, that's my uh, privilege. I am teaching uh, a little class here on, uh, on this incredible live video. So let's talk about another way that you can reconnect with your inner sensual sparkle. Start to say no to people. Whenever you say yes to everyone, that usually means that you don't really have time to take care of your own needs. And many of us are caregivers, many of us are parents and spouses, and we have elderly parents or elderly relatives, and uh, you know, they're, they need us, they depend on us, which is great, which is a part of being, being a part of a community. However, you also need to learn how to say no, because caregivers usually get burned out. And the people who, always say yes, they get drained out. So you have to make sure that if there is a night when you just need to completely power off and you need to just shut your phone, you are able to do that because if you are constantly giving your sparkle away, unfortunately, you're not gonna have anything left for yourself. So one of the ways to really reconnect with your inner sensual sparkle is to really be able to say no when there is a need for it. So if so you really channel yourself and see how you feel and if there is a need for you to kind of have some downtown downtime for yourself, make sure that you take it and you say no because the world fortunately can wait. So do that for yourself. Learn how to sometimes put yourself first. It's incredibly important in order to maintain your sensual balance. Um, this one is actually one of my favorite. Do something without your spouse and without your kids. Do something without your boyfriend and your girlfriend. And I mean, so many people will tell me, they will say, well, you know what, my husband or my girlfriend is my best friend and we do everything together. Well, let me tell you something, you are so lucky, but you still need to reconnect with yourself and do something that makes you happy and it can be as simple as you know maybe take a course or draw or reconnect with something that you used to enjoy maybe you used to go to a yoga class and you no longer do that so make sure that you do that and uh, and and it's something that is your own pleasure because the truth is sometimes in life we get also disconnected from our spouses, we get disconnected from our children, and then what? But you have to maintain that sensual sparkle, something that really turns you on, something that really stimulates you, something that really, really gets your juices going, and that's something that you cultivate on your own. And I mean, it really can be something as simple as taking a day trip. You know, if, if, if you're in Toronto, I mean, we have so many incredible things to do in the city. Or if you are really anywhere else, you can figure something out. You can figure out something that really turns you on. And it's something that you only do on your own time, you know, with, you know, something that you do with yourself and to really reconnect with what makes you happy with what stimulates you and what turns you on. Also, another thread that can kind of tie you to your real sensual sparkle is reconnecting with your old friends. Because the truth is, you know, I mean, as adults, we have such busy schedules, we have such busy lives, and sometimes reconnecting with the people that we used to be connected to when we were in university or high school actually can remind us of that very carefree and very 
just luscious part of ourselves that unfortunately we suppress when we have all those responsibilities like being a parent or being a spouse or having a full-time job so really reconnect and it can be something as simple as a cup of coffee and just laugh and talk about the things that you used to do you know before life settled into this predictable routine that really kind of you know maybe sometimes drags you down although it does keep you happy most days so that will really kind of rekindle that inner sparkle that you've always had and will definitely help you to reconnect with that sensual side of you oozing with happiness and joy and pleasure that derives pleasure from small things like food like sex like like you know just boosting your libido and so on and so on so and see how that little rendezvous can really shift things for you and can shift your inner pleasure and and i can bet you that when you come back to your spouse and your kids or your friends or your job you know you will actually feel very invigorated and very inspired and very tantalized so really really see how that makes you feel so make that rendezvous happen if it's something you've been planning for a very long time go for it tonight might be the night all right let's talk about the feelings of falling in love and I mean it's that first tantalized pleasurable feeling that gets your endorphins and your serotonin going. Those are our feel-good hormones. And the truth is you will not fall in love every single day if you do have the same partner. If you don't have the same partner, you still will not fall in love every single day. However, you can actually fall in love with new things every single day. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. We don't have to attach the feelings of love and sparkle and the sensuality just to a person. We can actually do that with with things, with objects, with things that we enjoy. It can be something as simple as maybe a new scent or maybe a new lipstick or maybe a new TV show that you just really connect with or it can be something as simple as reading a new book or going to a different park that you know just going for a walk and you know falling in love with a new restaurant so and when you are able to do that talk about it because when we talk about things it really helps us to internalize things and it really kind of gets us going and gets our juices going and that's when we will really really kind of you know start to feel things with every fiber of our being and it's going to become really really real to us and the more we do that with more things it's just gonna really tantalize us to live more of that sensual sparkle within us so i really really want to invite you to channel those incredible feelings in your life and it really really will kind of promote those feelings of the new sparkle and it's going to be fantastic all right and this one again is incredibly important i want to invite you to create self-love and self-care rituals because when you are able to take care of yourself when you are able to channel those feelings of pleasure of taking pleasure in small things you actually will be able to live that luscious and joyous and very sensual life with that sensual sparkle going on and burning bright so and really your sensual rituals don't have to take a very long time they can be as something as your commitment to taking a bubble bath maybe every single night and that's your time that's the time to really pamper yourself and to really pleasure yourself you know and indulge in the feelings of complete happiness and enjoyment and and sensuality you know maybe it can be something as giving yourself a hug every single morning that has incredible health benefits i mean it promote promotes our feelings of intimacy with ourselves it promotes feel you know the the sense, sense of touch being really really you know kind of um you know engaged and it's really really fantastic it gives us that those feelings of connection to ourselves you know maybe instead of doing chores you can actually just cuddle up with a book if that's something that your body is really craving because we are putting pushing ourselves to a limit and as i mentioned in the beginning of my presentation one of the reasons why we get disconnected from our sensual sparkle 
is because we are unable to balance work and pleasure and of course it's it's difficult because most of us have full-time jobs and then we have things to do at home so maybe sometimes you just simply need to disconnect yourself from your chores and say you know my chores are gonna wait I need to do something for myself and uh, you know maybe you need to go to a yoga class or maybe you can take things just a little further maybe you can you know, this one is for the ladies. Maybe you can wear some lingerie and it doesn't have to be for someone else. Maybe it's your little sensual secret and it's something that will just kind of put you in a different mood and will really make you feel enticed and kind of, you know, very sensual and very um, appealing. And it doesn't, again, doesn't have to be showed off. It's your little sensual secret that will kind of promote that those feelings of being beautiful and desirable and sexy. So really see if you can if you can kind of play with that and see where it's gonna take you. And uh, and and really maybe it's it's for you, it's a yoga class that you've been missing and you're just gonna say, you know, this is this is what I need, this is my connection to my body and that's gonna keep you connected, your soul, your body, and your really entire existence to the feelings of your sensual sparkle. So see what really works for you. I mean, it's your sensuality, it's your rules, and it's something that you just have to do for yourself and you have to find what really brings you home to your real sensual sparkle, oozing with that natural ability to be happy, attract people, and to really, really make the world a better place, but most importantly, your world, because it's something that you bring home, it's something that you bring, you know, into your life, and, and really, really, um, you know, it's it's kind of like a shawl that you carry with you, and, and it's your vibe, really, and I mean, your vibe attracts your tribe, so think about it, if you're gonna be happy, if you're gonna be sparkling and oozing with that sensual sparkle, your world is going to be happier with you because it's infectious. And really the point is for you to get close to closer to yourself and your needs. And the point is for you to be able to really um, reconnect with your self-love and self-care and to be able to channel your own compassion for yourself, your own sense of humor towards yourself. I mean, it is very important to laugh at yourself and the people who are able to laugh at themselves and at situations that happen in life are those people who have that sensual sparkle that says, you know, this is me, take it or leave it. So it's, uh, it's really essentially, you know, very, very kind of basic guidelines. And I mean, you have to guide yourself towards what connects you to your sensual sparkle. But really, those are the basic things, kind of, you know, learning how to say no to others, learning how to listen to your body and figure out what gives you pleasure, and so on and so on. And those are going to be the things that really, really will inspire you. And, um, and of course, it is important to mention that um, you know, some of us do go through a depression and depression is one of the most common things, you know, why people see a doctor in North America, it's an epidemic. So make sure that if you do think that you're struggling with a depression, uh, you know, that you do seek help and there is nothing, there is nothing shameful about it. It's something that actually is very commendable. That's something that you should be doing. Um, however, as I mentioned, so I, I wanted to leave this with you when it comes to the lecture portion of tonight's presentation. Um, and I'm happy to send you some uh, handouts if you personally contact me on my, um, on my, you know, during, on my messenger. I'm happy to send you some handouts for this evening's presentation. However, tonight I promised you the big launch. And tonight I am very, very excited that uh, I am launching a brand new service provided by my personal brand that I have been working so hard to develop. Tonight we are launching this opportunity for us to connect eye to eye. I am launching my personal and private coaching service. So if you feel like you would like to explore your inner sensual sparkle in a little more detail, if you feel like you would like to reconnect 
with your sensual pleasure and your sensuality. Well, now you can and I would love to take you on a journey towards your reconnection to your sensual pleasure, your sexuality, uh, you know, your culinary journey and, you know, really just the journey towards your more happier, more enticed, more pleasure-filled life. And I'm really happy to be doing this with you. So guess what? Now we can connect with the power of internet, with the power of, you know, computers and technology. Regardless of what part of the world you're in, regardless of, you know, whether you're in Australia or Canada or New Zealand or United States or wherever really, you can connect with me over Skype or Zoom um, and we can chat about all of those things. So all the things that you need to know are on my website, www dailysensuality.com and we can chat one-on-one -on -one. it's about you know the sessions usually go for about an hour so we can really get up close and personal we can chat we can laugh and I think it's gonna be really fantastic and I think that I certainly can take you on a journey of rediscovery of pleasure and all the wonderful things so I really really hope that you will go on my website and check this offer out and you will connect with me. All you need to do is just to send me a message and, and we can certainly chat and it's going to be fantastic. I am excited to be, you know, hearing from you and getting to know you up close and personal and really reconnect, kind of helping you reconnect with your pleasure filled lives oozing with ecstatic um, you know, with ecstatic pleasure and ecstatic um, love for life. So I really hope that you enjoyed this evening's presentation on how to reconnect with your sensual sparkle. I hope this gave you a couple of enticing ideas on how to kind of incorporate the tips into your life. I want to thank you all for joining me this evening and I'm really, really looking forward to hearing from you um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my sensual private coaching practice. Now you can do that. I want to thank Dronish Media for sponsoring this evening's presentation. Of course, next week, more sensual talk festivities right here. I thank you all for joining me. My name is Emanuela Fernandez. For more information, go to Daily Sensuality. Dot com. We'll see you next time on Sensual Talk. Thank you.